Call me square. Call me old school. But I love the look of beautifully coiffed, smooth, combed hair. This beautiful style was sent to me for review by Wig Studio One, and you can find a link to Wig Studio One in the description box below. Now let's get acquainted with Marion. Marion reminds me very much of another wig by the same company, Jean Renault, and her name is Kristen. And Kristen was one of the very first hairstyles that I reviewed for Jean Renault, and it reminds me very much Marion and Kristen together. So I thought just for fun, before I go into the spec specifications, etc. on Marion, I would hold up Kristen. Now here's Kristen, and you can see the styles are similar. And look at the colors. Now this is no color number 60, also known as white. And in my monitor, I would say they're fairly the same. In my mirror, I would say they're fairly the same. But when you see them online, a lot of times the color 60 or white looks like it got some undertones of gray in it. In person, I really don't see any undertones. I see just the color number 60 and some... So let's talk about Marion. You can see that I wear glasses and they fit very easily underneath the ear tabs. Make sure you get those ear tabs nice and centered. The Marion is from the Smart Lace collection at John Renault. She has a lace front, a beautifully done lace front. And you can see there's my widow's peak right there. And there is the lace. Melts right into your skin. You'd have to be, someone would have to be right on top of you. I mean, eyeball to eyeball to see that. I can even barely see it and I know what to look for. Her cap size is average. My head circumference is 22 and a half, so although I'm a petite woman, my sisters were right. I have a big head. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> now, she does tend to, as you can see here, she does, does tend to want to drop down in your face. So you'll have to hit her with some, some kind of hairspray or just train her back however you want to do that, but I think that she looks really especially beautiful off the forehead. And she does have a monofilament top, which I will show you when I take the wig off so you can see underneath. This, the hair, of course, is synthetic. So her bang area or her fringe area measures this part here, 11 inches. And then from the crown down, crown down, same, 11 inches, and then the nape, coming off of the, the nape, is seven and a half, and the sides are nine and a half. Sides are nine and a half. So, again, you'll have to do something here if, if you don't want her falling in your, in your face. Hit her with some hairspray. Maybe pull her back with a clip. So I am using some Jean Renault holding spray. Probably can't see that, but that's what I'm using. And I don't necessarily want to put a clip in it at this point. You know, maybe in the evening I might do that. So just hopefully that will do it and I won't have to use anything stronger. Okay, so now let me give you the spin. See how she looks in the back? Now 
and I have a big bump from my ponytail, which I, I made a little bit too high. I love how the, the fringe just sweeps along the side there. I think that looks so pretty. So even with that little bit of spray, she still wants to kind of flop down. So I'm going to hit it with just a little bit more Jean Reno. I don't find the Jean Reno holding spray to be that holding. But I get that you don't want to dump a lot of product on it because it's going to gum it up. And you're going to have to wash your wig more often. But I really don't want it flopping down into my face. So if I'm going out or, you know, maybe out to dinner or something, I, I may buy, bring a little clip with me. Something like this. A sparkly barrette. I love sparkly barrettes. Um, I even have great big things that I'll use sometimes to just, if it's a long wig, then I'll just catch it up on the top of my head. I bought this on Amazon many, 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 many years ago. Isn't it pretty? And um, I looked for it. I couldn't find it again. It would probably be so expensive now. You couldn't touch it anyway. Um, or, you know, just a headband. You could use a headband with it. Just anything to keep it from flopping in your face. And I actually really like this headband. I got it at CVS because there's not much to it, but it's enough to just keep the, the hair from falling into your face. I'm not sure the hairspray is dry yet, so I don't want to put that in just yet. But those are the things that you could do um, and pretty easily done. But for the most part, with this style, I would pretty much just wear it down, uh, wear it for business, wear it for church. Um, for my more serious moments in life, I usually wear shoulder length or collar length hair. <laughs> for my fun nights out or for singing, which I used to do a lot of before COVID, then I would probably wear something a little bit longer. And that way I could pull it up if I wanted to pull it up. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside. Let's look at the cap, beautiful cap construction, and I'll be right back. Marion by Jean Renault is a sleek and elegant shoulder length bob. She has smart lace front and monofilament top, so it gives the appearance that the hair is growing right out of your scalp. It's beautifully done. She weighs about 4.1 ounces. Her fringe area or her bang is 11 inches. Her crown, 11 inches. Her nape is 7 and a half inches. And the sides are 9 and a half inches. And again, she has that lace front and single monofilament top. And here, of course, you can see that open wefted back. That's allowing for wonderful ventilation and for maximum scalp cooling. You can see that single monofilament top. That's allowing for multi-directional parting. And it helps to give you the look that the hair is growing right out of the scalp. Again, that extended nape, the adjustable tabs at the back. Just beautifully done. If you like, give it a like, hit that little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. Take good care. Bye.